Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Lord Fuchs, or George Fuchs, if you like, I don't care. He has got it in for the SNP. He's had enough of their shadiness. He's had enough of their corruption. He's had enough of them perverting the civil service. He wants a full investigation going right the way back to 2007 when the SNP took over. He wants to shake the tree. He wants to see what malign influence, what cancerous growth has occurred that's turned what is supposedly an independent civil service into the SNP's admin wing. There's another government coming in. They'll find it very hard to operate with an SNP-led civil service. But he says this is overdue. It needs to happen. The light needs to be shone in some of the darker areas and that the independence of the civil service must be brought back and that they shouldn't be allowed to work on areas where they shouldn't be allowed to work. But we'll take a look at this to see why he is on the warpath, why he wants the whole business opened up and where everything will be exposed and it will annoy the hell out of the SNP who've spent nearly 20 years cultivating their own personal civil service. Here goes. So UK government backs call for reform to stop the Nats subverting the civil service in Scotland. Well, I think it's already too late. I mean, we know John Paul Marx is an avid SNP fan. And he's the permanent secretary. So what hope have you got? Um, the whole civil service is ridden with this cancer of SNP. And I think it needs to be cleared out. They need to be a massive root and branch change and that this needs to go. It is obviously um, being corrupted, but everything the SNP touch is corrupted. They're a party that's been in power too long. Uh, Labour peer George Fuchs is now calling for action, including an investigation of ongoing and historical violations. It's the historical ones that will be interesting. Uh, and this is of the Civil Service Code by rogue SNP government in Edinburgh. Now he's talking senior MPs as well as senior and middling um, functionaries, you know, civil servants and whatever. Uh, these, these people need to be investigated. And if there is a bias then that needs to be rooted out. You cannot have what is supposedly an independent civil service cheering for the away team. The UK government has pledged to tighten up the rules around Holyrood civil servants being asked to work on areas out with devolved control, such as foreign affairs or Scottish independence. There should be no Scottish affairs. They're not a government. They're not representative of the uh, parliament and people of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. They are a regional assembly led by basically a regional governor. His job is not to be devolving himself or involving himself in international politics. He should be kept well away from it. Uh, and as for Scottish independence, that is nothing of his concern. He cannot deal with it. No civil servant should be allowed to work on it. If they are asked to work on it, they have to say no. And if they feel they want to, they have to resign from the civil service and join the SNP as a, you know, a paid up staff member. That's it. Uh, in its response to a House of Lords report into the civil service, uh, the government agreed that the principle of a single civil service across England, Scotland and Wales must be maintained. It follows mounting anger in Whitehall that the Scottish gov government civil servants are working on the SNP's plans for breaking up the UK. If they want to work on that, they have to be fired. Let's just, they, they, want, they want to work to break up the organisation they work for. That can only be seen as being disruptive and against the principles of their employment. So if they do that, that's against what they're doing. They're damaging their own company, as it were, their own uh, organisation. If you're working in an organisation and deliberately damaging it, you get fired. So any civil servant, a civil servant in Scotland, who works pro-independence can be fired without severance. Just you're fired and go because you're working to damage the organisation. It's a fireable offence. Fire them. The moment they pick up a single pen to write a report on independence, fire them. It's easily done. They're working against the organisation. Uh, Labour peer George Fuchs welcomed the response of the Lords Constitution Select Committee Although he said that the words must now be turned into actions and he called for swift action to stop the SNP administration wasting further public money on non-devolved matters. Quite bloody right. He said the latest development of the campaign to curtail the rogue SNP administration in Edinburgh reiterates the principle of a single united civil service 
walking, working across all four nations, a position which the Scottish Government continually attempts to undermine. They don't want the UK to have a single civil service. They want their own civil service, but they don't want to pay for it because the civil service is actually very, very expensive. Scotland hasn't got the moolah to pay for the civil servants it's got. They don't know this, or if they do, they don't care. They really are lunatics, aren't they? Uh, Lord Folks told the Scottish Daily Express, the SNP project has deliberately gnawed away at the boundary between devolved and reserved matters. And this report serves as a very timely reminder that utilising civil servants to support efforts to break up the UK does not fall under devolved competencies. However, words must now be turned into actions. One rogue administration cannot be allowed to stain the integrity of our civil service with their petty identity politics. I'm therefore calling on the Cabinet Secretary and the Secretary of State for Scotland to effectively enforce the boundaries around appropriate spending and thoroughly investigate ongoing and historical violations and hold these people to account. And anyone, anyone who works for the civil service, who has in any way, shape or form worked pro-independence of Scotland, fire them. Start at the bottom and work your way up and say, you can keep your job if you tell me who told you to do it. And you go, the next one, you can keep your job if you tell me who told you to do it. Till eventually you get to the one who did the telling and then you fire him or her. And that sends the message. And it means the person who replaces him or her won't be working on independence. That is how you do it. Uh, the government response published today states that the government shares the committee's belief that the impartiality and perceived impartiality of the civil service is a central tenet of our constitution. And the Lord's report warned the fact that civil servants in Scotland are accountable to both the Scottish government and the cabinet secretary and has the potential to cause confusion about the boundary between devolved competence and reserved matters. If they are paid by Westminster, they answer to Westminster. He who pays the piper calls the tune. And if they don't like it, they are free to resign. The government replied, for this reason, we consider it the role of the cabinet secretary as head of the civil service of the United Kingdom, including Scotland and Wales, to manage any challenges as they arise. And basically, it's up to the cabinet secretary to say, stop it. Uh, the peers also asked for further guidance to clarify that civil servants in the devolved administration should work and spend public funds exclusively on matters within devolved competence. That will stop them spending money on independence. They won't be able to. Jamie Hebber's department will close because no civil servant can work in that department. And without his civil servants, he's pointless. Fire him as well. Another 100,000 a year saved. He can go back and get another job in the real world or not. Probably not. He's been a political animal all his life. Doesn't know anything outside of the talking shop of Holyrood, does he? Uh, the government responded, if the permanent secretaries in Scotland or Wales are concerned that civil servants are being asked to work on tasks outside devolved competence, they should raise this with an issue with the cabinet secretary as their line manager. And they added the government agrees with the committee that the principle of a single civil service across England, Scotland and Wales must be maintained. And it should it should. If Westminster's paying, Westminster calls it. And if they don't like it, they can, like I say, they can resign. And if the Scottish government don't like the fact that the civil servant, the civil service is a UK office, then what can they do? There is nothing they can do. The only other option they have is they say, fine, and we'll set up our own and they pay for it themselves. The only thing is they can't afford to. Coming up. Fuchs, of course, is right. There must be one civil service. You cannot corrupt a part of it. And if any civil servant in Scotland feels uncomfortable, all they have to do is say to their boss, I'm being asked to work on independence. I know I shouldn't because I know it's not something I'm allowed to do. Will you please tell whoever? And their manager has to go up and their manager goes up to their manager. Eventually, it gets all the way up. And then till John Paul Marks, the most senior civil servant in Scotland, says to the cabinet office, we can't do this. Oh, well, yes, you can. You get on with it, John Paul Marks. And he says, no, I can't, because if I do, I lose my job. And I'm not losing my job for you. And what are they going to do? They don't have the power to fire him. And so they'll have to put up with it, won't they? And then they'll just sit there and cry and say, it's more interference from England. Yeah, well, who cares? The majority of Scots don't want it. 
And just think of all the money that would be saved that can go into other things. Everything. The amount of money wasted is ridiculous. Anyway, well done to George. We'll strength your elbow. Let's get this investigation going. Let's go back all the way and pick everything up. Every single thing. And where there has been criminality, bring charges. And where there's been waste, charge them the money. And where civil servants have done things that are damaging to the organisation, it's a fireable offence. So fire them. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and the fight goes on. Bye.